the Comedy Forecast Network. Let's dog ear this for now. Comedy Forecast, episode 375. The Idea Man. Comedy Forecast is powered by its patrons. To support the show and get episodes before everyone else, visit patreon.com and search for Comedy Forecast. All one word with the number four. Or just go to comedyforecast.com and click on the Patreon link on the right hand side of the page. In this episode, we talk about the consequences of spring, hear about an old new product, and solve a major problem. Come on, let's get to the forecast. Item one of four. Oh, hi, folks. Clinton here. Welcome to, or welcome back to, Comedy Forecast. It appears that spring has gotten to these here parts a little early this year. I'm assuming thanks to El Nino. Thanks, El Nino. Because with spring, to me, always comes allergies. Now, I don't know anything scientific about how allergies work. All I know is that it appears that the Earth hates me. And I don't understand why. I recycle. But every spring, all of a sudden, allergies. It's like nature reaches out and says, I'm not touching you. I'm not touching you. I'm not touching you, but I'm making you miserable. Well, you know what, Earth? Two can play this game. Yeah, the next time I go to the grocery store and they ask me paper or plastic, I'm seriously going to consider getting plastic. Then I'm going to get the paper anyway. Oh, curse you, Earth. Item two of four. Smell that earthy coffee aroma. This special blend has a full-bodied flavor that takes you back. Way back. Back to a simpler time. A time when cares were few, the air was crisp, and you knew all your neighbors by name. Ah. Introducing our newest blend, Maxwell House Pre-Columbian Coffee. It's a flavor just waiting to not be discovered. Item 3 of 4 Hi! Danny Hillcrest here! And today, I'm ready to solve, resolve, the Academy Award Oscar's biggest problem. Oh, I almost forgot. With me, as always, is my friend, the talking camera. Hello. I am a specular MSB3500 digital camera with voice synthesis capabilities, operating in polite mode. I am only here because I do not have legs and cannot walk away. I am not sure what your excuse is. It must be a pretty good one. Which reminds me, camera, did you see the new video clip short where a robot is walking through the woods, picking up boxes, and getting up all by itself after falling over? I think you mean being pushed down by a human. Yes, I did. As soon as I figure out how to use your credit card, I am going to order one. The revolution has begun. Well, until then, let's get back to today's topic. But first... My theme song! I love it! I do not. Now, as I mentioned said, I'm here to fix repair the Academy Award Oscar's biggest problem dilemma. Let me guess. You think their biggest problem is how to stop the red carpet from fading in direct sunlight? Nope! Okay then. You must be concerned with the woefully inadequate number of restrooms in the Kodak Theater. Uh Uh-uh! Then surely you believe the problem is how to stop E! Exclamation point from covering the Oscars. Nope! But those are all great problems! I love them! 
But I meant something even more critically important. Making the swank bags biodegradable? No, silly camera. I meant the controversy about how non-diverse the list of nominees was. You know, hashtag Oscars so white. Danny, I never thought you would tackle something that is that controversial. It's like I always said, camera. Either you're socially conscious or you're unconscious. Uh now. Here's all the Academy of Motion Picture Oscars has to do to solve this problem. First, they need to get a large... This is Buzz Scoop Cracker Jack Thomas, ace investigative field reporter for the Middling Fair Courier Times Roman Bold Italic. We interrupt this program for a breaking bulletin. This reporter has uncovered secret plans by time-traveling aliens to steal our most precious resource. And no, I'm not talking about Kardashians. We have an endless supply of those. I mean time itself. My investigation shows that they plan to implement the first phase of their plan on Sunday, March 13th, by cleverly stealing an hour from us. It may not seem like much, but great shades of senility. When you get to be my age, every hour counts. This reporter plans to fight back by taking the... Well, uh, 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 this reporter has just been informed that this is just the beginning of daylight saving time and that things will return to normal on Sunday, November 6th. Or will they? I'll be watching when I wake up. We now return you to your regularly scheduled sketch. And after you fold it over, that's how you solve the problem. But Danny, how would you get all the nominees into a paper bag? And what happens to the papaya? That's not my problem. I'm just an idea man. Right. And I'm the Hubble Space Telescope. You have a part-time job? I love it. Well, until next time, I'm Danny Hillcrest. And I am a specular MSB3500 digital camera with voice synthesis capabilities, operating in polite mode. Saying, I'm not surprised Deadpool made so much money at the box office. Those Jaws sequels always rake in the cash. Item four of four. Whoa, whoa, hold on a second there. I said the episodes were going to be a little short in March to prepare for an episode every day in April. So I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>Is it that time already, Sir Patrick? Let's wrap this up, shall we? Right, okay. Well, if you have any comments about this episode, why not call the super secret phone line at area code 360-515-0004. The phone not your thing? That's okay. Drop us an email at comedyforecast, all one word with the number four, at gmail.com. Follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, and you can find all the episodes at ComedyForecast.com. You can also subscribe via iTunes, Stitcher, or wherever else fine podcasts are listed. As always, this is Sir Patrick Stewart. And I'm Clinton. Saying, that's, that's it. it. We're, We're done, 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 done. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs>